Hello everybody, this is Ableton Certified Trainer and DoveSpot Instructor Thavius Beck. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about one of my favorite plugins in Ableton Live, which is called Beat Repeat. I like it a lot because it's extremely flexible and it allows you to really manipulate the audio that you send through it. So instead of talking about it too much, I'm going to show you some ways that I like to use it. Right now I have two tracks set up. I have a drum track here and then I have a track with some guitar samples on it. As the video started, you heard some of what was playing. So right now I'm just going to focus on the drums. I'm going to mute out my other track here. And as you see, I've already dropped the beat repeat plugin on my first track with the drums. Right now I have it active. Ultimately what beat repeat does is it'll grab a piece of audio that's coming in and it'll make it repeat based on a certain length of time that you set. And it's very easy to tweak this plugin. So I'm going to play the drums. And right now we have this interval knob set for half notes, which means that every half note, every two quarter notes, it's going to grab a piece of audio and make it repeat. How often that audio repeats is based on this grid setting. So right now, every half note, we're grabbing some audio and it's making that repeat for 16th notes. How many 16th notes are gonna actually repeat is based on this gate setting. So again, every half note, we're gonna make our audio repeat on the 16th notes and it's gonna play four 16th notes, okay? Based here on the gate setting. And again, this is much easier to see if you just look at this little example here. Visually, you can see exactly what's going on. So if we change this interval setting from half notes to one bar, and then we can change our gate from four 16th notes to 12 16th notes. Now what's happening is we're grabbing some audio. It's playing the original signal for the first quarter note, and then it's making it repeat from the second quarter note onto the end of the bar. I have beat repeat set to insert mode, which is this button right here. And that means that whatever audio it's making repeat is going to play instead of the original signal. If I hit the mix button, we can blend with repeating with the original drum. And if I hit gate, all I'm going to hear is what's actually repeating. So I don't get any of the original signal. You can consider the gate switch like making beat repeat 100% wet, essentially. All you're hearing is the output of the beat repeat. I personally like the insert setting because then I can still get a little bit of my original drum signal or my original audio signal and blend that with the effect of beat repeat. That is what enables me to get a lot of really interesting sounds out of this. So let's take this a bit further, okay? Over here, we have a volume knob and a volume decay knob. I have the volume decay up a little bit, and as you can see, what's repeating is slowly decaying in volume. If I turn this to 0%, whatever repeats, it's just gonna play at the same volume. If I turn this up to 100%, instead of getting a volume decay, we're basically creating almost a volume slicer. And I like to use this a lot. By changing the interval setting, now we're just getting the kick and the snare. All the little percussion in the middle we've kind of gotten rid of. And it's nice to be able to run some audio through the beat repeat, slice out some of the other stuff that's going on, maybe throw a ping pong delay on top of this to add some syncopation. Uh, you can totally change the rhythm of what you initially had. We also have the pitch decay over here and a pitch knob. So instead of the volume decaying, if we want to just change the pitch of what was repeating. And just turn this knob. It's kind of cool. Now, if we didn't want the pitch to just be at a consistent pitch when it's repeating, we want to have a pitch decay thing going on. We have this knob conveniently called pitch decay. So let's tweak this.
And now you can hear the pitch is slowly going down uh, as this is repeated. We can make this a bit more pronounced if we increase the interval. So let's bring the interval back to one bar. So again, you hear for the first quarter note of every bar, we're getting the original signal and then it's repeating. And the pitch is gradually going down. We also have this repeat button over here. And if we use this in combination with the pitch decay and volume decay, we can create a nice effect like that. And that'll just repeat indefinitely until we let go of the switch. I use this quite a bit during my live shows. It's nice to be able to just grab something at any point and make it repeat. So in addition to all that, we have this variation knob here. So if we don't want our grid to just strictly be on 16th notes, we can turn this variation up and give ourselves a bit of randomization there. So let's change our interval again. I'm going to shorten our gate. That's pretty cool. And in addition to all that, we also have a filter here. So any part that's being repeated, I can actually control the frequency of. And this is our key right here, so we can make this bell curve a bit more narrow or make it even wider so we can affect more of the frequency spectrum. And then on top of all this, we have this chance knob. So we can have our beat repeat, set it to do whatever we want to, and then we can adjust this to below 100% so it's not going to happen every single time. Again, just to add some randomization, make this sound a bit less like a loop and more live, more organic. So the last thing I'll show you guys is a very interesting way to use the grid setting. Again, we have it set to 16th right now, which is typical. Uh, it'll give you a nice glitchy sort of repeat sound. Uh, but if we wanted to, we could increase this grid setting beyond anything that's actually reasonable. Right now we have it set to 256 notes. I'm going to turn my chance back up to 100%. So now with that going on, I'm going to increase my pitch decay. And I'm going to turn the variation up a bit too. So again, now we mainly have the kick and the snare, but instead of cutting out all that syncopation in the middle, we've added this very interesting, glitchy, kind of spacey sort of sound. Again, the main thing I love about Ableton Live is how easy it is to manipulate your audio. And Beat Repeat is a great example of a plugin that allows you to do that in a pretty simple way. Just tweaking a few knobs, you're able to easily transform one piece of audio into something else. And if you just have a bit more of an understanding of how to use it with a certain intent to get the sound that you really, really want, it becomes extremely powerful. So I hope you guys have gotten something useful out of this. Again, my name is Thavius Beck, Ableton Certified Trainer and DubSpot Instructor. And I'm quite fond of Beat Repeat.